It's me, Ari Dossett. I'm at El Fancy Fair still, also called Elfia in Arken. Despite the rain, we're having a good time over here. Look, in this short video, I want to remind you not to cast your pearls before swine. Let me give you two examples. You have one guy called Mike. He's a local drug dealer. And yeah, he sells drugs at parties, at nightclubs. Everyone knows who he is, even law enforcement. But for some reason, he's still walking around selling drugs. Then you have another guy. He's from the Caribbean. He has a doctorate and he earns money online, legally, no illegal activity. But every time he drives by in his car, the police tends to check on him. Now, don't say, oh, it's a guy from the Caribbean black and the Mike White. No, no, no. Let's forget about color for a moment. Who should be checked on a regular basis? Should it be the guy from the Caribbean, let's call him Gregory? Or should it be Mike, the local drug dealer? It should be the local drug dealer. He should be checked on a regular basis. But here's the issue. They have proof he's selling drugs. Why is he still free after all those years? It is because the public wants to be left alone. Okay? All those teenagers and all those grown folks taking drugs. They have issues that they're not facing. The fact alone they long for drugs shows there's something wrong with the community. But nobody wants to face it. So, they'll rather put up with drugs being sold in the community than to have the drugs being removed and now there's no outlet anymore, there's no escape. Without an escape, the people will escalate. When people escalate, everything becomes obvious. That other guy, let's call him Gregory from the Caribbean, he sees things clearly. He's not from the neighborhood, he's not born there. He is a migrant. So he sees things clearly. He has no filter to please the people. So that's why the public is more upset with him being around than with Mike. Mike, if Mike goes too far, they can call the cops and lock him up anytime. And they have a lot of proof against him. But this Gregory, they have nothing on him. But Gregory has a lot on them because Gregory sees you guys don't want any solutions. So listen, when the public refuses solutions, when the public does want to face something, do not put yourself at risk by forcing them to face effect and to face things. Sometimes it's proper to force people to face reality. But most of the time, when it's, the reality is already obvious and they keep holding on to a fairy tale, let them be. Don't call supposed for swine. Don't do it. That's it for now. Keep on agreeing with Christ and be at peace.